Yeah, you know? he's too shy to do that. You know? yeah. yeah, a lot of people are too shy. They come up to me and say, I've seen you fight before, but I was like, I never met you before. Like, yeah, a lot of people were around you, so don't want to bother you. It's like, yeah. well, it's going to bother me. But, but I'll tell you what, uh, I congratulate you and your father. Thank for you. mostly, I know your dad had a lot to do with your career. Oh yeah, he did. And he did. Uh, and I followed it for many years, and and so welcome aboard. Thank if you there's anything much. you'd like to go ahead and, and uh, say to the public, go ahead and, and bring them on in, man. Uh, I just want to say, um, I mean, coming this Friday is going to be a, a great show in Rob Sound. I uh, hope all the fans go and watch and support me, Greg, and everybody else on the card. I mean, it's just going to be show a lot of talent in South Texas. I mean, we have a uh, German Longoria who is a pretty good amateur. Uh, with Greg Gutierrez, bad boy from Rob Sound, hometown, and me and Tim and everybody. I mean, it's just going to be a great show. I mean, I just want everybody to go out there and give us support. What colors you are you going to be wearing that night? Don't know yet. You don't know yet? Don't know yet. Because I know uh, boxers have their favorite colors, and I know for a long time, Lupito Suarez, when he had his little girl, would wear pink, you know? Yeah. And, uh, and a lot of people, you know, would go, oh, pink. <laughs> but, but he set them up pretty good, so, uh, you know. Yeah. Just curious what your colors are going to be. I don't know yet. I usually wear a lot of red. red. So maybe okay, let red. me give an example. This would be a good idea because I was just looking at the weather forecast for that day, mm -hmm. and it turns out that the temperature during the day is going to be 93 degrees on Saturday. But the temperature that night is going to be at 80 degrees. So hot is good. Yeah. Red would be hot. Yeah. So I think oh, it's yeah. a good idea. Maybe, okay. maybe some flames, <laughs> flames on the road. That's man. right. You know, <laughs> let's tear it up. You know, so if you're going to do the red, you know, I think it's going to be an ideal color. You know, so uh, that's going to be representative of the the, the temperature and the uh, and Robstown. Robstown's red. Right. So oh, I, yeah, I think it's a very good idea. So it's a good idea. Might be red. Might cool. be your color. <laughs> so let me ask you, know, who you've been sparring with? Because I know sparring is very important. Uh, I've been sparring with um, some guy named Cesar uh, Vila from uh, TCPOA, Asian Lachere, um, Barbosa, uh, Julian Barbosa. Bigger boys. Yeah, yeah. bigger boys. Yeah. People fight at well, 152 down. Mm -hmm. And um, Greg Gutierrez. And um, sometimes my little brother when he goes to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> when he's not lazy. Well, you look really lean and mean and ready to go, man. And, you know, you look like you've been putting in the road work. There's no fat in either one of you guys. You look good, man. Yeah, no fat. I mean, I mean we're fighting at 135 this fight, and um, I feel really strong at this one. So That's probably going to be your growing weight anyway. You probably wind up being a welterweight because... Yeah, you know, I don't want to move up too fast, too fast but maybe right. like in a year or two, right. maybe three at right. the most. Just take the baby steps little by little, you know, yeah. to kind of get up there so that way you can ease up into it, right? Yes. How yeah. old are you now? I'm 22. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's perfect. That's about you know. perfect. Just so that way, by the time that you get to the ideal weight, you know, then you're already settled and you don't go abruptly into it, you know, yes. because then it would be really a crash, you know, as far as uh, the physique and then the ability of the body to adjust to those those changes. So that's a good idea. Yeah, that's right, yeah. So that's a good one. And um, let me ask you now, just for, for people that, that don't know much about boxing, Give me a typical day of training when you really have to make the weight. Let's say you're 145 pounds and you a, have to come a back. A typical day in South Texas. We've got to <laughs> highlight that, okay? So now go ahead. <laughs> uh, maybe at 5.30, 6 o'clock in the morning, um, doing 5 to 6 miles, um, sleeping, eating a good breakfast, um, hitting up Ghost Gym for um, strength training. Added that to uh, this car for this uh, fight. And from... 4 to maybe 7.30, it's nothing but gym. Hitting the bag, maybe six, eight rounds. It depends on how many rounds you're going to go. Uh, shadow boxing, jump roping, sparring, 10, eight rounds, maybe 12 sometimes to uh, get a good condition. And after that, go back and relax at your house and then maybe go for a little jog, maybe a mile, two. What about the food? Food, um... George Foreman grill. <laughs> Put everything on there. <laughs> <Plenty> of. <laughs> I like that. George Foreman. This guy's going to be a good salesman, man. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We met George Foreman many years ago, and believe me, he wasn't selling burgers. He was being mean and lean in, in Houston when I saw That's him. That's when he had hair. Oh, man. Yeah, he was all, <laughs> you, talk, you talk about a bad boy. That guy was yeah, a bad right. boy, man. That's right. But, uh, but yeah. Well, I'll tell you what now. Let's give some of the amateur uh, guys out there a little hope. How many amateur fights did you have before you went pro? I had 137. <laughs> I had uh, 18 losses. That's it. Okay, that was in what? In how long a period? About five years? No. Uh, More? I think nine or ten. Yeah, because you were just a little right. boy when you started, yeah, right? right? Yes. Yeah, so. yeah. Yeah. 
So you were about here. seven, seven years old when you started? I was nine, actually. Nine? Yeah. Yeah, that's Very pretty good. Pretty See, young, man. And, and, and I want to I bring the perspective into that, you know, so people realize that, gee, you know, it does take a lot of work. You yeah, know? you just it's don't not, walk in, man. It's, it's not the yeah. kind of thing that you say, oh, two more, I want to do this. No, you know? no, it's not It's thing. not the Rocky thing, man. That's right. For real. Yeah. So, so uh, recruits, people are killing the time. Yeah. Anyway. It takes a lot of dedication to A lot of dedication, and I know that you guys have fought since you were just little kids. I mean, now that you're a grown man, it's a whole different ballgame. Money's on the line, reputation's on the line, and more than anything else, the pride is on the line. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Pride is always the biggest thing I think keeps boxers going. Let's talk to your, your buddy here, Greg Bad Boy Gutierrez. Give him a little bit of the spotlight. But first, let's go, let's go take a break, okay? So, Javier is a. Is a yeah, because the then later on, then we're we going to have all the commercials all crowded yeah, up so that we can dedicate plenty of time to you, okay? <laughs> so, hang on, catch your breath, and we'll be right back. Ya regresamos en la programación de tubos en Cabo Uno Radio Español a 5 con 19 minutos. Regresamos. Thanks, guys.